Hello there, this is going to be a general love reading for all signs. And I think what we're going to start with is Crimson Secrets Oracle. That's what's calling out to me. Imprinted tattoo, obsession, bottom of the deck. I mean, clearly obsession is kind of self-explanatory, right? There is an energy here of someone who could be obsessively thinking about something. They could be obsessively thinking about a particular person. Sorry, I've got to get the right angle. I have to move this stool, right? So they are... Something has been imprinted in someone's mind or they are affected very deeply by something or someone and it's caused this ripple effect of obsession or obsessive thinking. Now the imprinted card really speaks about leaving a mark, right? Making your mark because, I mean, that's exactly what happens when you get a tattoo. It's the skin is forever changed. So there's this feeling of two people meeting and their encounter has changed both parties. And even in the absence of being together, right, in the absence of each other, the mark is left and it's ingrained and it's so deep. So you would feel each other even though you're apart because of the intense connection. You feel each other even though you're apart. The Obsession card really feels like they can't stop thinking about something. So it could be something within your connection, you know, spontaneous, free spirit. This could be someone's personality. A little bit more go with the flow, right? More of a free spirited type of a person. Sorry, my camera angle is a bit weird because I had to move this ring light to film something on my lifestyle channel, my second one, follow me there, Missy in Wonderland. So now the angle's a little weird. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Why do I feel like this is the energy? It just... Shit, my phone fell over. I feel like it's part of the energy. Just falling uncontrollably. Not being able to gain their footing, not having any stability. That could be this too, the spontaneous. It's like, I mean, I don't know. I don't know yet. Commitment. Hmm. You know, what's funny is the free spirit card is kind of the opposite of commitment. So you could have here two people. One is more free spirited, not looking to settle down, and someone here might be open to it. Or both of you are like this. And you find yourselves wanting to be with the other. You find yourselves wanting to be with each other. It's like these two souls aren't looking to settle down, but they find each other and they both feel so drawn to the other. You have taboo and runner. See, this is the issue in this connection. If there is no clarity, 
someone here might be wearing a mask, right? So if someone here is not being forthcoming, transparent, truthful, it causes the other person to want to run in the opposite direction. This can also be one of you, maybe both of you, wears a mask because you're nervous about revealing the way you really feel and you are both running from each other. It's like you're both, I feel like both of these people are in different ways and different times. Reminiscing, I told you it's an obsession. They're, they keep thinking about something, obsessive. And there's distress and anonymous. So they're obsessively thinking about something and they keep this to themselves. Nobody knows. Oh, this will not stop every day, a love offer. It shows every day, it just keeps coming up. There's some sort of offer. This is what they could be obsessing about. They're obsessively thinking about how to offer, how to come forward. They're very nervous to show their feelings. They're very, they're very nervous. They're, they always overthink if they just respond back to you, hi, they overthink, should it be a period, no punctuation at the end, or an exclamation mark? Like they overthink the most simplest basics of like communication. Should I say, hey, should I say, hi, should I put a, an emoji? Should I should I talk to them now while they're eating? Maybe I should wait. When I walk up to them at work, should I play it cool or should I be fun and should I be friendly? Like they constantly are overthinking and they're overthinking how they're gonna offer something romantic, which tells me you're not in a romantic connection yet. It's, it's not, it's platonic. There could have been hints throughout the connection of flirtation. There could have been, you know, both of you maybe alluding to it, but it's not been said. And we know this because anonymous and taboo confirm that it hasn't been said. This has not been communicated. And they're thinking about something. They could be thinking about something you said or they said. They just, it's an, it's, it's here. It's nonstop. It's like overthinking, but also, I mean, they might be like mad or upset about something and they can't stop thinking about it. Or they're thinking about something you said or did the last time they saw you. They just like can't stop thinking about something. It's like taking over their life. It's literally taking over their life. Devotion and past life, past life connection. Funny how today I saw a clip of Bram Stoker's Dracula when Dracula sees her on the street. I have crossed oceans of time to find you. And in a way that's sort of like what Dracula was doing from afar. When he saw her on the street, it's like his mind was blown that like, there she is. See me, see me now. And when they look at each other, there's eye contact that could cause a wildfire. It, it's electricity. It is absolute confirmation that there's something there. Now, Dracula was a bit more forward than this person here. This person here keeps it a secret, but what's not a secret is the most obvious thing is when you guys look in each other's eyes or when you interact. Oh boy, twin flame. <sighs> it means it's two peas in a pod. It means you mirror each other. 
That means if you feel nervous, they feel nervous and, and they don't know if it's them feeling nervous or they feel it because of you. It's like you guys are, you guys are like fused together. It's like two become one, right? Like there's a moment that this happens. This doesn't just happen, whatever. I'm, I'm sure you guys whole lives, you may have been connected in like a weird way and not known it, may have had weird synchronicities or coincidences, um, going to same places, having the same kind of experiences, but also yet being very different people. They're very different, right? Because these are opposites. Opposites attract. Yin yang, sun, moon. But there is a lot of triggering when it comes to twin flames. We've been down this road of what is it, right? Oh God, these are catalysts. These are karmic relationships to teach us self-love. And like we see that in hindsight and go, oh, all those people that I thought it was them, it wasn't them. And I think this comes into your life when you're just about ready, when you're just about at like a high enough vibration I don't think you're going to be fully ready because I don't think we're ever fully ready for something we've never experienced before. But you are quite high up in your spiritual journey when this comes into play. So it could be someone you've known forever from elementary, from high school, and you see them again and you're just like, oh my God. There's a possibility, you know, that kind of a feeling. This relationship connection needed time to bloom. It needed time to grow. Like you have infatuated underneath that. I mean, they are just... <sighs> This is their state of mind every time they think about you. They can't figure you out. They are obsessively thinking about something in connection with you. It's you blow their mind. More so, I feel like they cannot figure you out, which adds to the infatuation. Because it's like a puzzle that you can't figure out. You know what I mean? And like they cannot figure you out. They don't know yet what makes you tick. And I feel like this person is quite intuitive where they can feel people out, but they can't feel you out. They can't read your mind. It's very Edward and Bella from Twilight. He, he, they can't read your mind. And I almost feel like they're going to say that to you at some point. Like, you have to tell me what you're thinking. I don't know what you're thinking. What are you thinking? What do you want? It's like they don't know. They, they just, they can't figure you out. Seven of Wands, lock. They're guarded. Oh, they use work. Some of them could use work as the excuse. Eight of Pentacles, work. Is it I'm too busy because I'm working? Or is it because this is how you guys met? It's some sort of a business professional work thing. And both parties, or especially them, they're nervous to cross a threshold of that because this is like having to cross a threshold. So there could be some sort of work or career thing that you guys got to get past. You guys have to get through it. You haven't crossed the, the, the threshold yet. See, there they are again, distress. Something is bothering them. Is the way it comes across. Something is keeping them up at night. I don't feel this card. Something's keeping them up at night. Yeah, they don't know what they, they're, they're on the outs. They don't know what you're thinking. They cannot figure you out. They don't know something and it's making them obsess over thinking about it. World. Something is going to come to completion. This connection is going to come full circle. Yeah, because there's a love offer. That's the love offer. It This is going to come to some sort of conclusion. It's going to come to its peak. That's full circle. Okay, that's omega energy, right? Um, the full energy is like basically alpha. It's beginnings, right? It's that leap of faith. It's a clean slate. 
this is completion with the world. So there is some sort of completion here and it's in the form of an offer. Well, you did have love offer earlier. There's confusion too. Look, this is why they held back most of them. They held back out of confusion. They may have had a lot of options and wasn't at the right vibration to make their, their pick or they're fearful that you have other options and so they hold back. Right, but the Four of Pentacles, you can clearly see this is a person who's holding back or restricting themselves. They really overthink, they get in their head. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That could be a message out of the blue. That could be communication out of the blue. This is Sparta. They just do it. That's that spontaneous energy from earlier. They just do it. And to me, it feels like communication. You might get a message out of the fucking clear blue at like a random time. Six of Pentacles, that's reciprocity. It's crucial that they've got to get out of this. They do this because they overthink. They do this because they think you could be entertaining other people. You know, it's different reasons, but they're, they're restricting. They're restricting the love offer, and they have been restricting the love offer. It's like been off the table. It hasn't been an option, and it becomes an option now because it, it reaches like this boiling point of like the obsession of this or the constant thinking of you is almost causing them to go insane. And I think they were able to suppress this and deal with it, if you will, for a minute. They can't. They can't do it anymore. They cannot. Keeps them up at night. Makes them feel frustrated. They feel upset. They can't figure you out. This is also stubborn, stubbornness, pride, ego, stubborn. So some of them have held back for reasons such as that. This is a kind of man, this is kind of masculine here. He gets his way. So he's not the type of man that is going to go above and beyond because it's not what his MO is. He's not used to it. His comfort zone is, I'm almost, I'll put money on it, that bitches come to him, bitches make it easy for them. And even this is not the way this feminine is with him. She's not an easy, she's not easy to get. She's really hard to get. And what's going to happen is that's going to work in your favor. It, it is, I can feel it. It's going to work in your favor because number one, you stand out apart from the crowd. Number two, it, it gets them into this sort of obsessive ooh, thinking. And and then they it's like they it's like that is part of your story. It's almost like lovers, it's like enemies to lovers. I love you. It's ruining my life. It's very like Mr. Darcy and Elizabeth in Pride and Prejudice. Kate and Anthony from Bridgerton season two. It's very enemies to lovers in a weird way. So it tells me there has been tension or, or some sort of conflict within this connection at some point. I also feel like there's been some sort of a standoff between the two of you as well. Both holding back at different times at the same time right both um there's a release here that's coming the release is because it's basically torturous again i love you you're ruining it's ruining my life this has to come it's it's because it's the it's like the only thing that is going to be a relief it's like they have to do it otherwise it's going to continue to consume them so it's like, it's like ripping off a Band-Aid. It's like they've been avoiding ripping off a Band-Aid. And it's just been painful. They've been staring at the Band-Aid. They've been touching it. They've been 
Googling, how do I take it off without it hurting? Like, you know, they've been doing all of these things to try to remedy it and nothing is going to do it. What rem remedies this is they have to just do it. And I feel like they are because you got this. I mean, that's some kind of sudden communication. Let's get into this extended. Should you wish to rent it, click below this video, the word more. It's going to bring up all my links. Click on the first one. It's going to take you to my website, saltwaterhealstarot.com. And then you're going to go to the extended readings and special love slash oracle readings. Please be sure you follow me on my second YouTube channel, which is called Missy in Wonderland, because it's more of a lifestyle vlog channel. And tonight I filmed uh, doing my little Ross haul that I did yesterday. And then I'm going to be soon posting one of my self-care videos. And I did a couple of reviews for products. Anyways, follow me there. And also, thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on this channel. I'll see you in the extended. Love you. Bye.